Hi, I'm Andrew, Product Manager here at Crystal Vision. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick overview of VisionWeb, our new card configuration software. It's web browser based, so there's absolutely no software to install on the PC. And these days, all Crystal Vision frames have Ethernet connectivity. So control and configuration of our range of broadcast keys and digital interface equipment couldn't be easier. The first thing you need to do, of course, is grab a Cat5 cable and connect your Crystal Vision frame to your network. All Crystal Vision frames are shipped with a default IP address of 10.0.0.201. So ensuring that your PC is on the same range as your Crystal Vision frame, simply open up a browser and type in this address. After typing the IP address of the frame into the web browser, a list of controllable cards will be displayed. Simply click on a card to access its settings. You will see the master control tabs along the bottom and the relevant control parameters within each tab. So for example, if I wanted to change the output timing on this video synchronizer, I click on the video settings tab and go to the sync and output settings drop down. And here I can adjust my line and my pixel delay. To return to the list of cards, just simply click the Cards Home button in the top left here. When viewing the list of controllable cards, you will see a settings cog to the top left of the browser window. Clicking this will take you to the various frame configuration options. Here you will find the frame network setup option, where you can apply an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway of your choice to the Crystal Vision frame. There are also options for checking the frame's software and hardware versions, applying any software updates which may be issued by Crystal Vision, and if the frame has the SNMP option enabled, you can configure SNMP track filtering. Clicking the Home button will take you back to the list of controllable cards. One of the benefits of using a browser-based platform is the flexibility it provides in allowing you to use the web browser favourites or bookmarks to configure an easy-to-follow frame and card navigation view. Rather than continually typing in the frame's IP address to control it, simply add it as a bookmark and configure your bookmarks into easy-to-follow folders. Here, for example, using Firefox, I can use my bookmarks as a sidebar. This allows me to create a new folder which I could call Crystal Vision Frames and then I can simply bookmark the frame that I'm currently looking at. So now the next time I open my web browser instead of typing in the IP address I can just go to Crystal Vision Frames and straight away I connect to that frame. Another benefit is I can rename the frame to be something more applicable to my system. So we could just say glue frame at 10 0201. So being browser based, anything that I'm looking at, whether it be the frame or the cards inside the frame, can be bookmarked. For example, inside this frame, I have three video synchronizers. I have two Cine 310s, and I also have a Cine 3G. So I could create another folder called Syncs, and by right-clicking on the video synchronizers, I can place them all side the sinks folder so now when I look inside here I have my three video synchronizers the two Cine free tens in there also have extensive audio processing capabilities now when you create the bookmark, um, you will see the uh, default texturing used is the software version of the card, its serial number, its slot position, and the Crystal Vision product name. But of course, any of these uh, 
can be renamed. So let's call this one, for example, line one sync. This one here, line two sync. Delete that. And this one here, line three sync. So any any naming that you like that makes the, the cars more relevant to your system. And what's really neat about Firefox in particular is the search option. So if you had multiple folders of frames or multiple folders of synchronizers or embedders or chroma keys, whatever you want it to be, and you know you're looking for a particular card, you can just type it in the search bar. This takes you straight away to the line one video synchronizer. Another benefit of using a web browser based platform is you're not restricted to how many devices you can connect to your Crystal Vision frame. You can have multiple PCs all talking to one frame or to multiple frames, or you could even hang your frames on a wireless network, which would allow you to control them from devices such as a tablet. So that's Crystal Vision's new Vision Web Control software in a nutshell. Follow us on Twitter to keep up to date with any future Vision Web product enhancement announcements.